Well, wouldn't you know it, I walked out here a minute ago. I looked out here a minute ago, I didn't walk out here, I looked out here, and there was five or six deer out here. So I went and got everything to come out here and see what I could, see what I could find. And uh, I see no deer. Now, there's a couple way off out there. There's one running through the woods. I don't know what that deer is running after. I'm gonna throw a little here. I'm sure that there was some bucks out here in that bunch that we could look at an antler or two. Rattle around a little bit, you know. See if you can get somebody to come up here and visit you. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness, we've lost them all. <laughs> Yeah, I'll throw a little bit out there. There's just so much for them to eat. They don't cruise up here very often. I think those were just three wild deer. I don't think it was any of my, my yard deer that are here all the time. I just saw five or six deer out here. Come out here to check it out. And what'd they do? I get the time I got out here, they're all gone. So we'll look and see what happens here. Yeah. One laying down there, sitting down there, looking around. The other one just walked on off. Nobody else coming up. I guess this was a uh, an attempt at nothing. So, nice try, Jimmy. There's a deer out there. I guess you could zoom in. Everybody knows what a deer looks like. Looks just like that big mama right there. I don't see a tag in that deer's end, but look at the belly on that girl. Good lands. Oh, there's a tag in her ear. Oh yeah, she's one of our big girls, bred to somebody. And she is going to have twins, sure as the world. Just as sure as the world she's gonna have twins. Here's another deer come sliding in over here. Where are you? Right there. I think that is another little girl. We can't see any antlers on little girls, can we? That's a young girl. Now she could be bred too. I think it's a young girl. Kind of looks like I about could see some. I can see some nubbins on that deer, but I don't think so. So I suppose that I will just. Uh, I suppose I'll just wait and try to get some shots later. <laughs> the deer are not cooperating with me this week. Hi, Split Ear. Or Split Ear. I'm calling you Split Ear. Hi, Snow White. Hi, Prince Charming. Look here what I have. I have carrots. Oh, that noise will probably scare them, though. No. I have carrots. Prince Charming, I want you to eat one out of my hand. Now, yesterday, you almost did. This baby, look at her sticking her nose through the fence. Here you go. Here you go, Prince Charming. Prince, here. Here, Prince. Here, Prince, right here. Oh, that's the first one. That's the first one he's eating out of my hand right there. Prince Charming ate a carrot out of my hand. They just can't see very well. They get everything with their nose. He took another one. How about you, girl? Here. <laughs> is that cool or is that cool? Are y'all seeing that good? Huh? Y'all seeing that good? I think this is... <laughs> I can't zoom when I'm in that deal right there. They're up pretty close anyway. They, they, their vision is just not very good. He's got a... Here you go. He's got a horse fly on his head. I wish I could get off there, that horse fly. That scared him, but that horse fly was biting him. I don't know if I got rid of it or not. I hate those things. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on back here. Come on. Come on back here. Come on. Yeah, he thinks I hit him. He thinks I hit him now. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I just didn't want that horse fly biting him. Here, baby. Here, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on over here. Come here, Prince Charming. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come here, Prince. Come here, Prince. The horse fly is not going to give up until you kill them. Usually, on the deer that are pets, you can go ahead and kill them right on them, and they won't bother them. But it scared him. Here you go, baby. Here, here, here you go. 
Here, you're looking on the ground for it. There you go, baby. <laughs> She's liking those carrots. She's looking around for some on the ground because she knows I throwed one back there, so she's looking for one. Well, that's pretty cool. You can see that we're gaining. We're gaining. They're getting confidence in us. They're beginning to become, they're beginning to become our buddies. I'll uh, throw a few more in there for them. I don't know if they can eat too much carrots or not. You wouldn't think so. They might start hopping around like a bunny. I don't know. They just uh, can't see very well, I don't think. I need to study the albino deer a little bit more because uh, they're uh, evidently they've got some traits of their own that we don't really know about. And I think part of that is that they probably can't see very well. They use their nose for whatever, just about everything. She's trying to hunt those carrots down. Look at her. Look at her hunting those carrots down. She hunts them down and, and finds them. Better get up here and get you some, Prince Charming. All right, y'all got them all picked up. Somebody come up here and get one out of my hands. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Here. There you go, baby girl. That's my baby. <laughs> she sticks her nose through the fence. You see that? See her, see her stick her nose through there. Why don't you stick your nose through there, big boy? Here, come on. Come here, Prince Charming. Come here. Come here, Prince. You guys are just too special. Boy, Prince Charming is going to have some beautiful horns. There you go, buddy. She says, I know what I can do. Uh-oh, she smells that one on the ground. There she goes and gets it. That was for you, Prince. You got that doggone fly back on you again. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. <laughs> and look what happened. <laughs> okay, guys and girls. Uh, I looked at that video, and I'm thinking, dumb, 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 dumb. Here's your sign, Jimmy. Here's your sign. Duh, the deer with the purple tag in his ear is TC. What in the world is wrong with me? You know, I tell you what. Without horns, you just get full. I mean, without those antlers, you get full. That's TC, that's why he's so gentle, that's why, I, and I got to thinking about that, and uh, and that's TC. Uh, I was talking to Apache, and Apache said, I just saw TC with that purple tag, and I go, oh my gosh, I've been calling him somebody else's deer. He belongs to us, that's TC, and he's fine. We've been kind of concerned about him, and actually, I've been seeing him and didn't know I was seeing him. We've been calling him 12 point because that tag's hard to see. That tag is hard to see, so TC, is alive and well. <laughs> well, there is a pretty nice sight. That uh, is a couple of elk. That is our shooting range right there. That's kind of the cool thing about this. <laughs> Live targets on your shooting range. And uh, that old elk right there, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell the way she looks right there. She doesn't look in too good a shape, but she's got a big body on her. I don't know, just the way she's standing, I think. I guess that's a she. Uh, it looks like she's got a real big belly and her back end's not very big. Well, maybe that's the way the bull elk like them. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're zoomed in there on those two. We could go a little bit more, not much. Kind of hard to hold it at that long distance. That is the 200 yard marker right there. So you can see about where they are. That deer there is at the very end of that. And now my shooting building is back here behind us about 20 yards probably 18 20 yards so those elk right there at about 180 yards it's a pretty nice picture at 180 yards i'm driving around with beamer late this evening chris is taking a nap just to see what i can see and share with thee oh i'm a poet but i don't know it my feet show it because they're long fellows <laughs> jimmy you corny idiot look look Look, look, look at all the deer out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, tw
12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I see 16. I don't know if there's any more over there. I'm trying to move slowly. And I'll move back fast. What did I, what did I say? 16, 16, 15, 16, 17. Something like that. They're a long way out there. But you can see the big mamas have got the big bellies. I've found no babies yet. But we are here just about to the 1st of May. Or as close as you can get to it, really. <laughs> and look at all of those mamas. They're, they settle down a little bit. They run off a little bit when I pulled up here in the mule and stopped. Look at those bellies. I have a lot of twins this year, I think. Look at the belly on that girl right there in the center. Look at her belly pooching out. Any day now. Of course, they hide them out for a couple weeks, so even after they start dominoing, It'll be a little while before we start seeing them. We're going to see a lot of babies on the eagle, though. Lots of babies on the eagle. We're uh, about two miles from the house right now. So these are all totally wild deer. Some of these deer, deer, oh, there's one way, way back there. I didn't count earlier. These are all deer that some of them are, some of them are high genetic deer. Some of them are just regular Southern Oklahoma, whitetail, they're all beautiful. One's gonna poop, even a wild one. <laughs> what you doing, you wanting something to eat? Huh? Are you ready for something to eat? I don't have any carrots for you this morning. No, I don't have any carrots, no. Come on, let's get you something to eat. What's his name? You got your band of brothers here? Huh? You got your band of brothers? Peter throws it and I throw it. <laughs> this morning hanging back he's gonna have some big horns all right let's get out of this wind <laughs> I think a good way to end this week's deer video is to look at the owl or owlet. I think it's not an owlet anymore. It's pretty good size. I haven't looked at it in over a week, so it may not be there. Uh, and as we're going to be kind of quiet here. We're, and we're watching that stump right over there because if that mama's in there, she'll fly out. But it may be big enough to fly out by now. It was getting pretty good size last time I looked at it. So I'm going to shut up as we, uh, we're going to look at that middle stump right there. I'm gonna shut up as we go over there and look and see if that baby's there. Now I gotta be real careful around it because the last time it almost like backed out of the deal. I don't want it to get real scared and fly out and get in the water because I would probably get eat up trying to get down the water. I don't have a dip net in the boat where I could dip it up. And uh, so I do not want it out of that stump. I don't think the mama's there. She'd already flown out. She's really wild. She, Never lets you get very close. I gotta tell you one thing, part of that stump's gone. Oh no, it's that stump over there, I'm sorry. No wonder. Hey, Jimmy, you big dummy. Yeah, that's that stump. <laughs> I think we'd have seen her if she flew out of there. I don't think she's in there. The baby may not be in there either, I don't know. I just haven't been out on the water in the last 10 days. I, Worked in a couple, two or three different states last weekend. And 
Oh, the owl's still in there. I see the baby. I can see the baby through the hole. See the baby through the hole? The mama's not in there. She's usually out hunting this time of the evening. It's late right before dark. I've noticed that most of the time she's not there late in the evening. I got a big stob right there. I sort of had to work my way in here. I got a lot of stobs. It's hard to get to that. I want to take... I found bluegill in there. I found ducks in there. I've not found any squirrels. But I haven't really looked at that a lot. I mean... Maybe the baby's not in there. I thought I saw it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, I see it in there. I want to be real careful around it because I don't want to scare it too badly. I don't want it to accidentally get out of there. Look how big that owl is, my goodness. It is doubled in size. Look how big that baby is. Well, you look at that. It's not going to be long until that bird is flying. I'm not going to get up much closer because, again, I don't want it to get excited. And the other side of that stump is kind of almost gone. But that's not going to be too much longer until that owl flies out. This might be the last time that we get to look at that owl. Uh, I'm probably not going to. I, I haven't really checked it much at all. I'm probably not going to check it again for another week. No, what's happened? There's only one. There's only been one in there. There's only one owl. That's a, she laid one egg is all she laid. That's a foot of a duck that the owl caught. She brings, oh yeah. Look at that owl. She, she's that, she really hasn't even moved. Normally they'll, normally they'll uh, snap her jaws at you. She probably would if I got closer, but I just don't want her to get excited or him, whatever it is. She's pretty ominous looking. She's blinking her eyes, so she's fine. Isn't that something? They they eat feathers and all. When she catches a duck and put in there, they eat feathers and all. Uh, she opened her beak at us there. She usually snaps those beaks. She's not too excited, though. She's pretty calm. She should have learned. I've... I've only really pulled up and looked at her three or four or five times. You can see the feathers on that, uh, feathers over there on the, on that stick. That's where the mamas brought stuff in there to eat. And they, they can eat a, a duck in about a day. And I mean, that little baby was, well, it's the size of an egg. <laughs> a chicken egg, that's about the size of the eggs were. It's doubled in size since I was here about a week ago. All right, guys and girls, that uh, wrap up this week's uh, Lucy's Herd and all the family and the elk and the, the deer and everything else. Remember, I sure do love you.